Have you ever wondered why Vox motion graphics feel so smooth, polished, clean, and just better? It's not just their style, it's the way they build motion with intention to help tell a better story. And if you're stuck with animations that feel clunky, robotic, that feel like every other editor learning how to animate like Iman Godzi, or you just feel like your animations are off, you're probably missing a few key techniques, but today, well, today I'll show you exactly how to fix that. Today, we're going to make an awesome newspaper animation like Vox, like this. So the very, very first thing that we're gonna to wanna to do here is we're going to wanna to go to the link in the description below to download all of the project files. If you guys want the exact same look that I'm doing here, because I'll give you everything I'm using, all of the assets. Uh, otherwise, if you guys are using your own assets, go ahead and make sure you get those beforehand. Then what we're gonna to wanna to do is create a new composition. I'm gonna create a new composition. I usually like to keep this for a duration of 10 seconds. So you could just come down here, make sure this is set for 10 seconds and then name the comp. So we'll do Fox style article, like newspaper. I, I keep this at 1920 by 1080, 24 frames per second. Everything here's good. I make sure the background's black and click okay. So the very first thing that we're gonna to wanna to do, we have this composition here. We're gonna to wanna to come over here to create new folder, we're gonna click on that. So now it's gonna create a folder specifically inside of this composition, and we're gonna name this assets. Then we're gonna go and get our asset. Okay, fantastic. So I have my assets all here. Again, I will link all of these assets for you guys to have, um, and I have a lot of assets here that I'm, I'm not gonna be using, but I will only link the ones that you guys absolutely need. We won't need all of these. The first thing that we will definitely need is we will need this um, video file of crumpled paper moving, okay? So we will go ahead and we will place that in the assets folder. We will definitely need uh, the New York Times logo, and we will also be using this specific screenshot here. I liked the way this one looked. It looked, reminded me of when I was back in school. Like, and then we're gonna want our cutout of the the cutouts that we're gonna be using for this animation, we're just gonna drag and drop that in. Fantastic. Now we have all our assets, now we can actually start building on it. But the very first thing I wanna do is actually create a new composition specifically for the background. So I'm gonna come over to uh, composition, new composition, and I'm gonna type in background, same exact settings, click okay. Now what we're gonna do is we're only gonna build out the background, okay? So we're gonna go into our assets, we're gonna go into our source paper, our moving paper, so our video file. Then we are going to open up the actual graphed paper. We're gonna stack it on top. We're gonna to make sure we fit this to the comp so we could just right click, come over to transform, come over to fit to comp, and then it will automatically fit that to the composition. What I'll do is I'll come over to toggle switch slash modes, come over to mode, maybe multiply. It just blends in with that background moving paper really well. And then I'm gonna go back to T and I'm gonna turn down the opacity to about 50% because those lines are really strong. And I really like the way that looks here. So I would probably keep it exactly like this here. This is great. So just good practice here. I'm gonna make sure I name these. So we're gonna come over, right click, rename, paper, background, BG, and then we're gonna do graph, BG. And then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna copy and paste these into here, and we're gonna lock these layers. Sweet, awesome, fantastic. So now we have this all set and done. Cool, we have our background done. Now what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna design how we want this to look. So we're gonna bring our assets in, we're gonna design before we do any animation. So first things first is I'm going to bring in the title. Come over here to title up top, just drag and drop the title. Trump promised Americans booming wealth. And for the font for this, I always love to do like like a sans serif, a serif regular here, this one. So DM serif display, it's like my favorite for these. I just find that it looks really good. And what we'll do is we'll just increase this font size. Maybe we could do it like this, perfect. And then what we'll do is uh, we're gonna anchor, we wanna make sure this anchor point is in the middle whenever we move things. So just go up to here, this um, pan behind anchor point tool click command and double click it, and then it will automatically go to the center. Now, whenever we move it around, we will be able to have the anchor point in the center. So we'll move this about right here, okay? Because we're gonna put something up above this, okay? So remember that. So Trump promised Americans booming wealth. I like the way that looks, pretty solid. Then we want a body, right? So let's just click command D to duplicate this. Um, let's first click, right click that title and rename it title. And then let's rename this second one Right click, rename body. Now what we're gonna do is just click P for position, bring it down a little bit, and then let's double click it to be able to activate the text tool. And then we're just gonna bring this way down. Uh, and then basically just put whatever your body is here. So I'll just go and copy paste one from an article. So I'm just gonna, I just copied and pasted this from a news article. Now I'm just gonna kind of bring the text a little bit closer together so it looks a little bit better. Cool, let's bring it in a bit, about right there. 
And I'm going to line that up with that title. I like to line it up with the, the title up top. So maybe something like that. Perfect. Cool. So that looks great for body here. Then what we're going to do after that is we're actually going to do the fun part where we actually bring in our assets here. So first thing is our New York Times logo. We definitely want to bring this in. So click S for scale. I like this to be a little bit smaller. So I'm just going to scale this down about right there. Perfect. I'm going to place it right here for now. Then I'm going to bring in the White House. Cool. And then same thing here, S for scale bring it down a bit and then move it over to maybe about right here. Maybe I'll actually bring it a, lot, a little up in scale like this. And then maybe I'd bring this New York Times logo like up here a little bit. There you go. Really right now what we're doing is we're just playing around with the assets to find a spot that we like it. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in Trump and let's scale this down a bit, move him over maybe right here. And we'll make this all look good here in a minute. And I'll maybe put Trump like right here. That probably is good. So, so far this is looking pretty cool. You can already tell, kind of feel like the Vox style here going on. We also have a hundred dollar bill here, but I think it'll be overkill, right? I think if we put too much, it'll start to look bad. Uh, I'm just gonna rename this New York Times logo, rename White House. It's always good practice to rename things. <clears throat> it's always a good practice to rename things. And then Trump. Now I'm going to, highlight these two, the White House and Trump, and I'm just going to right click and change the color. This is just personal preference so I can help stay organized. No animating yet. We're still going to just design things. What we're going to do is we're going to duplicate the Trump in the White House. So for Trump, we're going to command D to duplicate. We're going to move this below that. Click P for position, move it slightly over and slightly down. And then we're going to go over to our effects over here and type in fill. I have a free plugin uh, where basically I just click shift space and I could just type it in. So fill, and then you're gonna search for the fill and then put that right there, okay? It's gonna be red naturally and you could change that to whatever color you want. So Vox usually uses like a nice yellow. So maybe we can add that. Yeah, there you go, perfect, right there. So right there, we just have that. Now we're gonna do the exact same effect for the White House. So Command D to duplicate. We're gonna move White House 2 under the White House 1 layer. We're gonna search for the effect fill. And then what we're gonna do is click P for position and we're just gonna slightly move that like this. And we're going to change that color. Actually, what I'll do is I'll just use the eyedropper and change it to that same yellow that we had the other one. Perfect. Awesome. That looks super cool, guys, huh? I really like the way that looks. We're going to want to draw just a line. So what we're going to do is we're going to just make sure none of these layers are selected. We're going to come up to the pen tool. And then we're going to create just a line from here behind Trump's head. And just hold down shift and click to make sure it's a perfectly straight line. Then our stroke will be up. Let's change our stroke to maybe around four. Very subtle and let's make that black, okay? And then what we have here is just a cool line here. We're gonna move this below uh, Trump, okay? So it's behind him. And you'll see what we're gonna do with that in a minute. Now we're gonna do one more thing before we start animating and that's creating a date. We're gonna come over to the rectangle tool and we're just gonna create a very small rectangle up here just like this. So what I like to do is make sure, so I just zoomed in a bit. I like to make sure that these are curved. We're gonna go over to contents, rectangle, and then you're gonna have this option under rectangle path one roundness. And I'm gonna bring that up just so that the edges are not so pointy and it's just rounded a little bit. And we are going to click fill and we're gonna just bring this to whatever color you want. I like a nice dark red. Command D on the body layer, the text layer for the main body. We're gonna come and fit this. And we are going to now take this, double click and type in, what is today? March 11th. So March 11th. Ideally you wanna do the actual date of whatever newspaper article you are working on, but you know, this works too. And I'll just keep this the same font. We're just gonna move it up into this little square here, this little rectangle. So now we have our date, we have our title, we have our body, we have our design, this is fantastic. Now what we need to do is we need to do the animating, the timing, the keyframing, all that good stuff, okay? So this is where it gets fun. I'm gonna rename this for good practice and type in date. And this shape layer will be date placeholder. I like to stay very organized because in After Effects, things can get very messy very quickly. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is animate the title. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to come over to P for position. I'm going to go about two seconds in. Cool, about like right there, maybe a little more than a second. I'm gonna create a keyframe by hitting that clock icon. I'm gonna go back to the beginning and I'm just gonna move it to the left about here. Now I'm gonna come to T for opacity and I am going to bring it all the way down to zero, click that clock. And then I'm actually, if I select a layer and click U, it'll bring up both those keyframes for the position and the opacity. And then I'll go to where the position lands and I will bring that opacity back up 
So then we have something like this. But to make it a little bit more seamless, what I'm gonna do is highlight these. You could click F9 or you could right click keyframe assist, easy ease. Then come over here to this graph editor icon and select both of these and bring them all the way to the left, just like this, all the way to the left. Fantastic. Click this again to go back. And then we have this. Perfect. And then what we want to do is we'll, we'll do this later, but just so you know, we're going to add a motion blur by selecting this little box here, and then it'll look much better. Fantastic. It looks so good. So we'll keep that off for now, just so our, our, our machine can run nicely. So now what we're going to do is the exact same thing for the text underneath the body text. So we're going to click on this. We're going to click P for position, and we want this to come in a little bit after. So maybe it'll land like right here, maybe about exactly two seconds in position, we'll hit the clock icon and we'll move it and we'll start this maybe right here. Hit this again, right here if we wanna set another keyframe, okay? Perfect. Now what we'll do is we'll click T for opacity, exact same thing. Right now we'll click a clock, put it at 0%. We'll click U to open up the two time frames so we could, the keyframe so that we could see where it ends and then we will bring the opacity all the way up. And then same thing, highlight all of them, right click, keyframe assist, easy ease, go to the graph editor, and bring it all the way to the left. Now let's take a look. Boom, perfect. In fact, what I might do is highlight these keyframes and just bring them to be a little bit sooner, like this. Perfect, that is so perfect, awesome. So our title and our body is set. Now what we wanna do is we wanna work on Trump in the White House. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna highlight both White House 1 and White House 2, and we'll do that first. And we'll click P for position, and we'll be editing them at the same time. So after these come in, we'll want the White House to come in and maybe land around two and a half seconds. So we'll hit the position there. Then what we'll do is we will bring it back to maybe about right here. And what we're gonna do is bring those off the screen, bring them down, very easy. Then we're gonna highlight both of them, right click, keyframe, easy ease, and then same thing, graph editor. And we're just gonna bring this all the way to the left, just like this. Then you watch this. Boom, fantastic. And then the exact same thing with Trump, but we want Trump to come on screen a little bit after. So maybe what we'll do with Trump is set the first keyframe maybe right here. So we're gonna close these, click Trump, and then shift and click Trump 2 to highlight, select them both. Click P for position, set the keyframe, and we're gonna move back a little bit to about right there, and then we will have him come down. And then it will look, we'll highlight all those, right click, keyframe assist, easy ease, same, same thing each time. And then drag these all to the left, select this one, drag this to the left, perfect. Hit this again to go back, and then this is what we have. Awesome, it looks so good. It's gonna look even better with motion blur. Now what we wanna do is the New York Times. So we're gonna do something very similar to what we did here, very, very easy, just the opposite way. So we're gonna to go to New York Times logo, position. We will have this come in maybe right here, maybe around the same time. Maybe a little bit sooner, actually. I want it to come in like right here. So we'll select the clock to set the keyframe. We'll go back a little bit to about right here and we will bring it down. And then we will also go to T for opacity, and we will hit this, set it to zero, click U to see the other keyframes, and see where the position ends, and then bring that up to 100. Select all of it, right click, easy ease, graph editor, and bring it all to the left. Now we have this. Fantastic, that looks awesome. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna animate this line, okay, this, this little line that we have here. Uh, in fact, right click, rename, I forgot to rename that black line. So what we're going to do here, this one's going to be a little bit more complicated, but it's still pretty easy. So right here, right when New York Times lands, right there, we want it to start. So we're going to open up this drop down. We're going to come to add and we're going to come to trim paths. Okay. Then we're going to open up trim paths. And then we have this end keyframe. We're going to bring this all the way to zero. We're going to set the keyframe. We're going to press play and we want it to end right here. Okay and we're going to bring this all the way back out to 100%. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna highlight those keyframes, right click, easy ease, same thing, graph editor, bring it all the way to the left, hit that graph editor again to go back, and then click U to close this. Perfect, that is perfect, absolutely perfect, I love it. Date at the top, so we'll go to the date placeholder and date, shift, click to highlight them both. Same thing as before, P for position, and then we will move it a little bit to the left. So what we'll do is about right there and then T for opacity. So we'll set this to 100, get the keyframe, 
click U so we could see the other ones and then set this to zero opacity. And then this is what we have once we highlight it all, right click, keyframe assist, easy ease, graph editor, bring it all to the left, select that. And then this is what we have. Looks pretty good. And what we can do to make it look even better is the first thing we're gonna do is add motion blur. So click shift and just drag and click and drag all the way down to add motion blur on everything, okay? And then it looks like this. It looks way better with motion blur. Makes such a big difference. Uh-oh, my camera just died. I guess you're gonna have to continue this without seeing my face. There's just one more thing that we need to do to make to add to all of these to make it way more Vox. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add an effect called posterize time to everything. It makes everything look much more, uh, it drops the frame rate, so it makes it look a little bit more uh, Vox newspaper style. A lot of really smooth effects and After Effects is used with this. So we'll start with the title. Uh, you can come up here to effects and presets and search for it, or if you have the plugin I do, just shift uh, space and type in posterize time. Then what we're gonna wanna do is come up here. We're gonna wanna change the frame rate. I like to change it to about 16. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna just copy this, Command C, and we're gonna highlight everything else and click Command V and it's added to everything. And then we have it look like this. Yeah, it looks so much better like that, so much more Vox. And that is exactly how I create my news articles for clients to look similar to Vox.